Welcome to today's episode. In today's episode, I'll be going by a 21st century learning approach or methodology called the project-based learning approach. Um, a case study would be thoroughly analyzed and instructions will be made to deliver a problem solution. In that, we'll be able to unveil most of the techniques and skills needed to deliver our problem solution. Mr. Hansen Afung, the owner of Half Pharmaceutical Limited, renders a wholesale services in pharmaceutical drugs. A year after opening, has earned more profit, which has extended his services from a region to five regions, and has also increased the number of customers who patronize his services. Upon many deliberations, saw the need to introduce a computer-based system that will aid in inventory making and customer orders. As his project manager, we have been tasked to structure a small database system using access to handle inventory or stock making and process customer others. So this will be our case study for this episode and other subsequent ones that will be coming. Based on this, we could realize that the case study instrument of interest, which is inventory making and customer order. The case study therefore suggests to us some few entities. Entities here refers to objects for which data would be collected. So for instance, it suggests to us first a sales person as an entity, order as an entity, customers will be making purchase as entity, order lists as entity, and inventory as entity. So on the access platform, we will create our database and we will name it as half. Then we click on create. Then to view, we create the first entity as sales person. Click on OK. OK, so we are going to provide the names for the various thoughts or the attributes for sales person. In creating name for a particular attribute, one must follow what we called naming convention. The naming convention describes the structure of how an input or a name of a, an attribute is supposed to be. So for instance, databases do not accept spaces between names. Therefore, in order to have it as a single name, one must concatenate it by using what we call underscore. So we would like to create what we call SP number, as in the salesperson's number. We will leave it as auto number. Salesperson underscore a name. Salesperson underscore the address. And also, you consider commission rate. So, for commission rates, we will leave it as number, address as shortest. Name us. Let's leave that to our short test. Okay. So when we are done, we right click and we save. Then we right click again. Then we go to the design, the database view. Sorry. So we have our data sheet view. So at this point, we can populate, but I would like us to create all the five tables so 
we go again to our design view we close this file we create at this area too we can click on creating a new table So this is our data sheet for salesperson. So in order to create a new table, we go to create, then under the create, we click on table. Then here we also specify. So we are creating the table called order. So orders. So we have order underscore number. Order date. And customer. underscore number so in here you will specify and set our order number as the primary key let me go back to the sales the design view it was already specified for us as the primary key okay so we can just close this table then at this place you will save it and we change the name to order orders. So we have our order table also created at the access objects. We have our order table also created. So let's view it. A data sheet so we have our other table also created so let's go there again we create that of the customer so we have the customer customer number customer name Customer address. We will consider the balance. Credit limit. Then finally, the salesperson's number. So here will be number customer reset to auto number. We specify customer number as a primary key. The balance will be in numbers. Credit limits will also be in numbers. And we are done. We save our table as customer. Okay, then we can leave here to the data sheet view. We have that one also here. So we have orders. Okay, for orders, let me go there again. Okay, specify as that, but let me change it to auto number. So we can save it. And go back to the data sheet view. So we have three entities created. So we're going to create the last two. Create. Then so we are creating inventory. So we have our inventory ID. 
we have inventory description description we have inventory class we have units on hand unit underscore on hand underscore then you have the price so the price you could set it to number you need also number a class short test then this set as auto number so when we are done we can save it as inventory then okay okay so it's giving us a warning because we didn't specify okay so let's close it and specify the id as our primary number which is going to uniquely identify each of the inventories that we have in our system so we can go to the data sheet view yes okay we are there so we are going to create the last one, which is create. It should be our order, orders list. Okay, so we have our inventory underscore ID. We have our order number. We have our quoted price, then lastly, quantity. Okay, so quantity will be number, price will be currency, or the number will be number and inventory id also we will do that so we set inventory id as our primary key here then when we are done we can save it as underscore list okay so this is how to create our entities, salespersons, order, customer, inventory, and order list. So in our next episode, we are going to populate it with data. Then we will manipulate the data by creating queries and other report forms. Thank you.